What's up, YouTube family and sports fans? It's your boy Chris with Drop Balls Podcast back again with some more quality YouTube content. I know it's been a minute. I've been gone for a while, but I'm back now. And the reason that is because we haven't had any quality NFL news lately. And I know the NFL content is what gets y'all going. It's what it's what y'all show love on. So here, here I am back again with some quality NFL content. We got some breaking news today. But before we get started, go ahead and hit that subscribe button one time for your boy. Ring that bell one time for your boy so that way when I drop a new video, you all get the notifications. And if you like listening to podcasts, tune in to Drop Balls Podcast every Tuesday on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Amazon Music, all of the above, wherever you get your podcast from, tune in to Drop Balls Podcast. It's, it's some great content. But let's get into what happened today. Now, I woke up this morning. I'm on the West Coast, so it, it's still kind of early for me. I woke up this morning barely wiping the eye boogers out my nose, uh, brushing my teeth, washing my face, doing all of that stuff. And I get on Twitter and I see uh, Mike Patton and uh, Jason Fearman. They both have podcasts. Mike Patton does the uh, tour in the AFC South. Jason Fearman has the third and three podcast with Damian Adams and Nikki. Um, and he also has the Power 32 podcast that he does on YouTube as well. Both put out some dope content, but Mike Patton had posted a poll on on Twitter. Where do you think Julio Jones is going to go? And, you know, I've been big on him going to Seattle or going to the Green Bay Packers just because Green Bay could lure Aaron Rodgers back with a Julio Jones trade. Having Julio and Devontae Adams, that shit would be crazy for like for real. That would be crazy. But uh, giving Seattle uh, Russell or getting Russell Wilson, Julio Jones paired with DK and Tyler Lockett, that'll be nasty as well. But I, I, I chose Seattle on the poll that that's where Julio's going to land. And I lied to, and we chopping it up in the comments. And then I lied to you not. No less than like 10 minutes or no more than like 10 minutes goes by um, of us just talking about stuff in the comments. It breaks news that Julio is being traded to the Tennessee Titans. And now I love and hate this trade. And the reason I hate this trade is because y'all know I'm a Colts fan. So now that means the Colts have to play, have to see Julio Jones twice a year. To me, that sucks because it, it just sucks. <laughs> I mean, you, you know who Julio Jones is. He's an elite talent. But I love the trade because it makes the Tennessee Titans offense that much more dynamic. Now, my only knock against Julio is that Julio, he doesn't score enough. Since 2014, Julio only has 40 touchdowns. Since 2014. It's been seven years. He only has 40 touchdowns. That means he, he averages about five touchdowns a season, a little bit over five touchdowns a season. That's not enough for an elite talent like Julio Jones. Now, a lot of people may say, oh, Julio gets hurt a lot. Now, let's, let's look at that a little bit because I don't think Julio gets hurt a lot. You know, every football player gets dinged up may go out of a game for a few plays or, you know, be out for the rest of the game, but then come back and play his next game. But since 2014, Julio, well, not counting 2020, Julio has only missed four games since 2014. Not only that, but let's look at 2020. He missed three games earlier in the season. Then he missed the last four games. Now, what I want to know and what I actually believe is that he set out those last four games because he shut it down for the season. Atlanta was going nowhere fast. They wasn't making the playoffs. They wasn't going to the Super Bowl. They were going nowhere. So why continue to go out there and put your body on the line when you know you're probably going to get traded this offseason you, or you know that you got to come back 10 times better next season? So shut it down. Get your body right. Get that rest that you need. So that way, next season, you can come back and dominate, no matter if you're on Atlanta or you're with the Tennessee Titans. And I think that's what happened. So I don't really, I mean, he, he very well could have been hurt or it just could have been like a nagging injury that he was going through all season that, hey, if I shut it down, I can get this, I can get this back by next season. I can be 100% by next season and go out there and be in kill mode. And I think that's what he did. Now, the main beneficiary of this trade, in my opinion, it's not Julio Jones, it's not Ryan Tannehill, and it's not A.J. Brown. The main beneficiary of this trade, in my opinion, is Derrick Henry. And the reason I say Derrick Henry is the main beneficiary is because now teams can no longer stack the box against Derrick Henry. You're, you're legit going to have to pick your poison. Either you want to get killed by the receiving court because they have Josh Reynolds, they have Julio Jones, 
and they have A.J. Brown. Now, Josh Reynolds, I included him, but I don't know if he's included in that trade package or not. He could be, but if he's not, they have those three receivers who are very capable. I mean, you got Julio and A.J., and then we, we only saw a little bit of Josh Reynolds with the Rams, but I think Josh Reynolds is a very good receiver. So you got Josh Reynolds, you got Julio, you got A.J. Brown. So you can't sit back there and play man coverage. You can't. I mean, and then, like, keep nine in the box? You can't do that. Or not nine in the box, but, like, <laughs> you know, eight, eight, well, eight or nine in the box, depending on how you want to play it. You can put eight or nine in the box and just play man, man across the board. I mean, that's that's up to you uh, if you want to if you want to go goal line against Derrick Henry. But, uh, you know, seven or eight, seven or eight in the box. You can't do that anymore. You got to have at least four DBs back there to to take care of, you know, of the receiving core or you got to drop backers back. You can no longer just put everybody in the box and sell out to st to stop in Derrick Henry. You can't do that anymore. Or you're going to get the top taken off the defense. Because, believe it or not, Julio probably still runs a 4-4. AJ is somewhere around 4-5. And Josh Reynolds somewhere around 4-4. So you, they're going to take the top off the defense. So now you have, to, you have to play them straight up. You have to. You have to pull linebackers out the box, put them on a receiver. Or put them you know, on the slot guy or whatever. Put an extra a, a nickel in there. Or whatever it may have you. So... At most, you're probably going to have five or six in the box at any given time. Because then that leaves five other, that leaves five DBs out there to play. That leaves six DBs out there to play. Like you, you're going to have to put your DBs out there on the field, people that can cover out there on the field. And guess what that does for Derrick Henry? It leaves running lanes open for Derrick Henry. And Derrick Henry will break the single season rushing record this year in less than 16 games, 16 games or less. Derrick Henry will break the single season rushing record barring any injury or anything. Derrick Henry will break the rushing record this year. I believe the rushing record is 2105. Derrick Henry rushed for 20, 2027 last year and like 17 touchdowns. Derrick Henry will one up that and he's going to break the single, single rush, the single season rushing record this year. He's going to do his thing this year. Now, like I said, this only sucks because they are in the AFC South, and my Colts have to see them twice a year. So our defense better come correct, or we're going to get exposed. Titans spent this whole offseason getting a lot better. To, they want to make a playoff push. They want to make that Super Bowl run. Now they still got to go through Kansas City. They still got to go through Buffalo. But Titans got a lot better this offseason. So look out for the Tennessee Titans. They're going to they're gonna make some noise, especially in the AFC South. They're going to make some noise. To me, it's between the Colts and the Titans to win the AFC South. That's just how it's going to go. Because I don't see Jacksonville doing anything, and I don't see Houston doing anything. That's just what it is. So let me know what you all think in the comments. Let me know, you know what your opinion is on this Titans trade. If the Titans made the right move, if Julio's going to go off, if y'all believe Julio will go off, I think he will. I think Julio is he's going to have a good season. I don't care who you who you got back there at quarterback. Julio's going to get the job done. He may not score a lot, but he's going to get the job done. AJ Brown's going to get the job done. But like I said, leave y'all opinions, leave y'all thoughts down in the comments. Like, share, you know, comment all of the above. Check out Drop Balls podcast. Um follow your boy on Twitter at Drop Balls Pod. I have a good time on Twitter, so come follow your boy on Twitter. Um and until next time, man, y'all be easy. Peace.